Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is AutoX where we feature some wacky, weird, and interesting campers, JDM vehicles, vans, and everything else. You're looking at a 2013 Ford E350 Adventurer Class C motorhome. This is the 19RK rear kitchen model. Uh, this was made by AML RV in Yakima, Washington. These Adventurer motorhomes really interesting because the 19 foot models such as this one were only ever sold in the Canadian market. This one has made its way back to the States and promptly received a quad van 4x4 conversion which includes a 4 inch lift, a Dana, a Dana Super 60 front axle, basically a brand new 2013 F350 axle for new parts. Um, an NV273 transfer case, and a few other bells and whistles. But this is it. It's a 19 foot motorhome. It's got a Jakobs rack on the back, so two kayaks, two paddle boards, and two bikes can all be put in this rack. And it locks up with some cables and locks securely. It's got 17 inch Mickey Thompson alloy wheels wrapped in some nice general grabbers, all terrain tires. This is a four season camper. It's insulated quite well um, as these were designed and made for the Canadian market. Let's take a look a little bit closer in here. So this has the 2008 plus front end on the E series. So we've got the super duty grill hood fenders, all that stuff. A little bit better looking, a little bit more modern looking for these vans. I like it. Thumbs up there. Um, got the wide towing mirrors, power and heated. The alloy rims with the locking hubs. However, those hubs don't really need to actively be locked. You can do that all through the high and low transfer case switch on your dash. Taking a look around the exterior outside, you've got your fridge vent here, your heater vent here, some access for some outdoor AC outlets. This is a rear right storage compartment, got some stuff, fresh water hoses, leveling blocks, and spare toolkit, spare tire toolkit. A nice awning that comes out. And I want to point out this is single, single rear wheel, making it a little bit more desirable of a setup than the dualies. Um, improved fuel economy, better tracking for off-road, that sort of stuff. So we have a rear mounted spare as well. LED tail lights, AMLRV, that's the uh, manufacturer. They make the Scout truck campers and I think the Eagle caps and uh, uh, some other stuff. If I recall correctly, here's another rear driver's side storage compartment. An outdoor rug, your awning tool, and uh, this one goes up pretty high. You can tuck some stuff in there. Of course, these all lock quite nicely right here. Um, okay, so fuel fill, water heater, it's all controlled from inside, but your hot water heater, outdoor shower. This is your short power hookup. This is where your sewer hose lives. City water and fresh water fill here. And then your battery box is in here. It's a really nice looking rib, rig. It's hard to find any kind of class C in, a, in this size, this footprint, let alone in four x four with a uh, reputable conversion. Um, I really like U-Joint, Quad Van, and Clydesdale up in Canada. They do some of the more premium 4x4 conversions, and this one truly feels like a factory 4x4. Drives a lot like an F350. Let's take a look underneath, show you that Super, Dana Super 60, and uh, some of the upgrades. So, 
with that, we've got obviously front brakes out of an F350, front coils, all that stuff is new running gear, giving it a really heavy duty feel. Drives nice. It's powered by the, uh, the two valve 5.4 V8, the good one, not the three valve. Let's take a look inside the cab. Clean and tidy beige interior, uh, door card, power locks, power windows, uh, a nice heavy duty vinyl rubber um, commercial flooring. Step in, uh, two way adjustable seats here and here. Uh, we've got a glove box with all your basics. Stepping up and in. Taking a look at the dash. Clean and tidy dash, the new style dash. We've got the upfitter lights. Uh, these power the front fog lights and these power the rear utility lights. Some magnetic phone mounts, aftermarket JVC head unit with a backup camera built in. Very nice to have in a larger rig like this. Spacious center console and some like four cup holders, three and then some more storage up here, which is always good to have. The more storage, the merrier. You know, you gotta have your snacks, your drinks, all your little road things handy. So there's the driver's seat, also tidy. These front seats have two armrests, boom, boom. A nice spacious pass through here. Let's slide over and take a look at this side of business. So, you got your climate controls, use your transfer case switch. So two, four high, four low, all works beautifully. Shift knob, tow haul mode, your lights, vents, heated and power mirrors, all adjustable there, and a map light, and cruise control. All your standard features and fittings of this year, 2013 Ford Econoline E350. All right, let's take a look in the back and see what we have going on in the coach end of things. So, going around the front end again. Oh, this is a four satellite Sirius XM radio receiver there and your aftermarket fog lights wired into the factory dash switch okay stepping in point this out here 19 rk uh, four season insulated this has a nice beefy amount of insulation in these panels roof and floor so standard two-part camper door screen And your main door. So let's hop in. Two step up. All right, to my right is your cab over. A nice big spacious bed, I want to say probably full size. A full size mattress up here with a skylight vent. Your two windows, which do have pull down shades. Um, and then you also have a privacy sleeping curtain, which pulls across for those private moments. Step ladder pops out of here and pops into these two things. You guys can kind of visualize that so I don't have to demonstrate a uh, cocktail seat. This is what these are called sitting here. So. This also has nice a nice snap ring uh, privacy curtain that's stored up there to block this space off too. So right ahead is your dinette, converts to a bed. This goes down on this mechanism and this all converts across to form a second bed. We've got your dinette window, which is on your curtain. <clears throat> And then we've got some nice storage, really deep and spacious storage in this rig. And it's just, it feels well built. It feels solid. 
nice wood construction. And there's the curtain for the upper part of your bed. And here is the all the paperwork. This thing has every bit of paperwork that it came with from new. It's been a well taken care of, well kept, and well documented rig. We've got some nice linoleum flooring. It's in good shape, tidy. Sitting at the dinette, two cup holders. And there's your door. Of course, all these windows are shaded. Um, and a nice big beefy grab handle for stepping in. Porch light and interior step-in light. All these lights are LED, which is nice. You don't have to worry about switching the bulbs over. So back is the kitchen, rear galley. Let's flick some lights on. Microwave, hood range with a fan and a light. Three burner stove top and an oven. Neat. It all works wonderfully. Two pan sink. Works well. And plenty of kitchen storage throughout. Three drawers here. Your heater outlet is here. Um, we've got another drawer here. Deep. Here's your wardrobe space right there and your specs for your motorhome so it's a very tidy very well kept motorhome we have a one piece fiberglass bathroom with a this is a uh, laundry holder or a towel holder to let the wet stuff dry stepping in we got a nice vanity and a vent fan, and another light, and your shower head here. And a towel rack on the outside of the door, and your TP holder here. Very nice and smart design. Good use of space. This is a very big, spacious kitchen for the size, a very deep counter. Uh, we've got a really nice Dometic three-way fridge, which works quite well. Um, a big upper freezer, and then a large fridge space. And that kind of sums up the rig. Roof air, Coleman mock unit, and some more overhead storage. Can't really get enough of that. There are two coat holders here and a third here. Smoke alarm CO2, DC vents intake, and these skylights also have uh, privacy covers here. So you can really get it dark in this thing if you'd like. A nice marine ozate fabric headliner shows perfectly in good shape no signs of leaks or water damage here's your thermostat for your heater control and that kind of sums up the inside so there you have it guys 2013 adventure 19 rk with a 4x4 factory conversion by Quadvan. This thing is now for sale in Oregon. It may or may not still be available by the time you're watching this video, but we wanted to get this video out so you could check it out and just have it documented because there are not many of these out there. This may be one of the only ones and it is just a cool rig. So anyways, thank you for tuning in once again, guys. Check us out on the next video.